This is not financial advice, this is not legal advice for entertainment educational purposes only and everything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all the YouTube algorithm and stuff so you get the videos I put them out so you don't think I'm analyzing that data. Listen, I'm about to tell y'all a story that y'all gonna find to be so unbelievable it probably came out of a Hollywood movie, okay? In 2020, Goldman Sachs was fined $2.9 billion. Listen to what I've said. They were fined $2.9 billion for bribing the Malaysian and Chinese government officials. And when I tell you how deep this goes, it goes, it, it, it's just out of this world. They raised $6.5 billion dollars and the majority of that money was spent on bribes, was spent on luxury homes. You know what else they did with that money? <laughs> they used that money to finance the film, The Wolf of Wall Street. Talk about ironic. The, the money they were stealing and using to bribe government officials, they used some of that money to finance The Wolf of Wall Street film. And of course, when everybody got caught, all the senior officials in Goldman Sachs, nobody went to jail in the United States. And the Department of Justice said they're going to defer prosecution for three years. So that means sometime this year, they're supposed to prosecute those bad guys, even though they had all the evidence of, of the crime in 2020. Do you think the Department of Justice is going to go find these guys and prosecute them now? No, nobody goes to jail. But, but in Malaysia, one of the people that accepted the bribes, Najib Rasa, Malaysia gave him 12 years in jail. 12 years in jail, but all the officials from Goldman Sachs in the United States, the ones who orchestrated this big criminal enterprise not one of them saw one year in jail all they did was pay fines and then it goes even deeper ladies and gentlemen <laughs> the the republican national committee finance chair elliot brady he pled guilty to accepting millions of dollars to get the Trump administration to drop the charges. So they were paying off lobbyists to talk to Trump to drop the charges against Goldman Sachs. And the Malaysian government, Goldman Sachs Malaysia ended up paying the Malaysian government another $3.9 billion. So think about that for a second. $2.9 billion was paid to the United States government. 3.9 billion was paid to Malaysian government. How much did Goldman Sachs really make from this bribery scheme? 2.9, 3.9, what's that, 6.8 billion? You know they made a lot more than that if they agreed to pay $6.8 billion. But the bottom line is this. In the United States, Nobody goes to jail for robbing, stealing, and bribing officials. When I was an officer, if I would have took a $10 bribe, not only would I have been fired, I probably would have been locked up in jail. It's absolutely crazy what these banks are allowed to get away with. And for them to have all that evidence, all those fines, in Malaysia, people going to jail. In the United States, they go, we'll give you three years. We're going to defer prosecution for three years. And I guarantee you, we'll, we won't hear anything about any prosecution in 2023. Anyway, please leave some comments and tell me what you think about Goldman Sachs paying a $2.9 billion fine to the United States, a $3.9 billion fine to the Malaysian government, their Malaysian counterpart gets 12 years in jail and nobody from Goldman Sachs does a day of jail in America and the Republican National Committee 
pled guilty to accepting bribes to get Trump to drop the charges and nobody in the United States was prosecuted. Anyway, have a great day. God bless. And I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.